Namaste beautiful yogis. This is a quick tutorial on squaring the hips. I've already uploaded a few videos on squaring the hips but there's still some questions about that. So I'm gonna try to further explain what do I mean when I say square your hips. Perfect example of squaring the hips would be warrior three where we're gonna take the foot back and if the hips are not square, one of the hips will open. They're not going to be level with the floor. And one hip can be a little further back. So basically they're not squaring, they're not aligning. Basically there is no symmetry. So to square the hips, we're going to go into warrior tree, flex the foot, and align all five toes so they are uh, directed down. They're flexing and directing down. We're going to level the hips equal distance from the floor and push that standing leg in this case left back right forward try not to adjust too much try to adjust so that you're just at the right place because you can over adjust and keep them square another place where we're striving for square hips it's a little difficult to get it in warrior one but it's warrior one when you take warrior one you can actually take, here I'm having my right leg forward, you can take your left arm forward, bring your right hand on your right hip and push it back. Pushing the hip back as if the femur, the bone of your thigh is pushing back in, in its socket. So we're pushing here back and pushing here forward to square the hips. This is square hips as much as I can and this is open hips. Here the hip is not pressing forward, the hips are misaligning you want to press that right hip back without losing the connection with your feet. The feet are still there, we're not adjusting the feet. The feet are is warrior one alignment. We're just pressing this back and pressing this forward. You can reach with this hand forward and keep pressing this bone back. And this is gonna, this is gonna be very challenging. It can take you years to work on it and you probably never get a perfect warrior one. But that's not the point. We're not trying to get the perfect perfect pose. We're just trying to continue progressing and having fun and deepening our practice. Another place where the hips may misalign is intense side stretch. When we take intense side stretch, in intense side stretch, to keep the hips square, we're just going to take the right leg forward. Now, if I take a little um, wider stance and I don't have the flexibility, I will compensate for this by opening the left hip so that I can step a little wider. Here, the hips are not square, the left hip is opening a little bit and for you to actually square them, you might have to take a little closer stance and you may have to close your back foot slightly more and you're going to take, imagine, your hip rotating forward and your right bone pressing back looks like this from the front. From here, misaligning, opening the left hip, I'm, take, I'm engaging my quadriceps, pushing it back and pushing the left hip forward. This is square. Right now my hips are square, so I'm going to keep that square movement. I will continue pressing in the outer edge of the back foot. I will continue pushing this leg back, keep the hip square and begin to lower down. And that way, you're really going to feel it in your hamstrings. If you're misaligning, opening this hip and lowering down here, you're going to look like this from the side. This is very common. You're going to probably see this pose performed the wrong way more often than the right way. It's just going to look like this and the back will be rounding. You want to close the foot, square the hips, press the right hip back, left hip forward. Rotating the left hip forward here, lower down with a straight back. It takes it takes time to develop the flexibility, but if you use the proper alignment, it will actually deepen your practice and it will make you more flexible. So basically, patience will pay off. If you are, say, here now and you're keeping your back straight, your hips square, and you're just holding here, you're really going deep into the hamstring. Eventually, you're going to go a little deeper and a little deeper rather than rounding the back, opening the hip, and doing this. So. I hope this made sense. 
Let me know if you have further questions about hips and hip alignment and squaring the hips. Thanks for watching. Namaste.